What's up guys and welcome to a sort of like a short play series really where we're going to basically be playing a game all the way through. Today we're featuring Doritos Crash Course and it's gonna we're going to be focusing on Doritos Crash Course 1 and 2 over the next 7 weeks each area being on a different day so today we are going to be focusing on Doritos Crash Course 1 and the USA levels the very first levels in the first Doritos Crash Course game so as we can see we are on the first level then and yeah basically this was the very first Doritos Crash Course game the free game that came out in 2010 um, downloadable on Xbox Live and it was played by a lot of people it had some easy achievements majority of them easy achievements it did have ridiculous achievements though such as get all gold medals on all levels which I still haven't got yet um, an interesting note though is I haven't got the DLC in the first Doritos Crash Course because well the Las Vegas and the London levels um, even though the game's free I don't want to get them because Doritos Crash Course 2 was coming out so yeah I've not got them and Doritos Crash Course 2 has come out and it is free so as I was talking, I just basically went through the entire first level. So, we're straight into level 2 on USA 2, learning the ropes. And, yeah, basically, um, this is... Um, Doritos Crash Course 1 and Doritos Crash Course 2. Uh, Doritos Crash Course 1 is more of the total wipeout, like, wipeout style, while um, Doritos um, Crash Course 2 is more sort of racing if you know what I mean it's more arcadey it's more well, it's more, more arcadey it's more oh so what I'm looking for it, it's not wipeout style basically the first Doritos Crash Course is um, yeah so basically I'm gonna play this game I'm not really going for medals or anything I'm just playing through every single level and just seeing what happens really um, more about the series this um, these Tuesday series um, are gonna be videos that people can watch sort of in between the game records updates because game records updates are gonna be on Tuesday and I need something to fill the gap if I'm releasing a video a day and basically any video in this series any video on Tuesday is basically fills the gap but I'm turning it into a series um, so yeah that is why I'm playing Doritos Crash Course I could have played any other game but I chose Doritos Crash Course because it's got seven sort of levels it's got USA Europe and Japan in the first game and then uh, Amazon Antarctic Egypt and Pirate Island in the second game so there's seven and I needed seven videos so hence why it is one course every week as in one area so we're on the third level now and you can probably see in the top right hand corner my best time but every so often you will be seeing my friends times um, it's just what Doritos Crash Course does really and um, yeah, um, I'm not, as I said, not really going for medals. I'm not really going to beat my best time. I'm just looking to see, well, how well I can do and complete the level, considering I haven't played the first Doritos Crash Course game since beginning of 2012, I think. Ending of 2011, beginning of 2012. So, yeah. So I got, I got what was it, equivalent to a second place in that course. Moving on then into USA 4 on the rebound. Um, so what I have noticed though in this game, the USA flags there at the very start don't contain the stars. They're just the stripes, which is a little bit strange because why would you call them USA levels if you're not going to show the flag? And then... Yeah, again, you just see the stripes. You don't actually see the stars. So, 
that was I don't know whether that was a miss um not a misprint but the gaming or computer equivalent of a misprint a misprogram there we go or just an error on the makers of the games part but yeah anyway I don't know so fourth level then and yeah I got I got squished so we start again and I am on this bit for ages I get stuck on this bit for ages because these hammers are so annoying especially when you have to swing into them using ropes as you can see there mistimed it hopefully we'll get it this time maybe I'll take my time over it and we did so we have out we got smashed into the screen so we have quite a bit left in this video uh, we've got one more level to do uh, that's the fifth level which is supposedly the hardest of all of the USA tracks in my opinion it's not it's probably um, it is one of the easiest this is the hardest this is the hardest course in my opinion of the USA levels um, but we got through it we got through it 1 minute 46.277 seconds a second place medal and on to USA 5 nothing but air this is the final course and it will be the final course in this video as well um, so yeah um, what else to uh, talk about for the game we've got um, I mentioned the achievements but they were quite easy uh, a lot of them were sort of they weren't level specific but they were um, obstacle specific such as like just keep swinging over the ropes or stay you know moving on the um, sort of the, the fans for um, like 10 seconds or something so they were quite easy um, and that's about it in terms of talking about the game so as you can see rope and trampoline and we are about three quarters away through this final level now coming up to the end and yeah we are up to the end this is the hardest bit by the way and yeah uh, you've basically it's a race against time against the fan so you can try and get back on it I didn't uh, even though it was ahead of me it didn't start pushing me up so I have to redo this bit um, yeah this this was quite good in its checkpoints were sort of there and you could reset your checkpoints as well whenever you wanted which was another bonus of the game that I don't think is in the newer game it might be it might not have used it though so anyway yeah second place one minute thirty and that's it then for this episode of Doritos Crash Course. That they were the USA levels, and there'll be more videos coming up in the next couple of weeks. So I will see you then. Bye.